We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Dolphins are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Patriots didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Patriots with the ball midway through one. Edelman's able to get open here, and that connection will lead to a gain of 19 yards. Now early in the second quarter, Teddy Hill's got the connection across the middle, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. The Dolphins take the early lead. Now early in the second quarter, Teddy Hill's going to complete the pass, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 28-yard line. Patriots on offense midway through the second. Amendola's found on the quick pass, and the pass and catch will end up going for 16 yards. So that'll do it for us. We'll send you back down to the field where Jim Nance and Phil Sims are on the call. And we're back now at Sun Life Stadium, the start of the third quarter. First of all, thanks for taking the time to speak with me regarding it. Yes, and um, I just, just got to ask, because obviously you're involved with the 2K League and you do this Madden League as well. Um, what got you just wanting to be involved in eSports in general? Um, it's weird, man. I was, um, I'm a sportscaster by trade. So I work right. at SNY uh, here in New York, Sports Network uh, that owns the Mets. Um, and I also do radio for CBS Sports Radio. I was a newscaster. I was the TV anchor, the main TV anchor in Orlando. Um, I've worked in Miami, I've worked in Boston, New York, I'm from Nashville, I've worked in Jackson, Mississippi, I've worked in Kentucky, so I've done the traditional, worked in a bunch of different markets as a newscaster. I was in Orlando and I got an email uh, from a guy, uh, his name is Matt Belasuk now, he used to work at EA, he emailed me, he's like, hey, do you want to, um, you were looking to add some new voices to the game, want to see if you want to come out and, and do an audition uh, to be um, a sideline reporter in the Madden game. And I was like, cool, so I did it. Uh, I thought it went well, uh, but then I get an email back that said, uh, yeah, it, it went great. We, we'd like to use you, but we're going to go in a different direction. Mm. So they, uh, they ended up finding uh, another um, person to do it, a young lady to do it. Right. Uh, and then I got another call, like literally right after that, saying, we have something bigger in mind. Right. That's why we did this. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So they do like me. They do want to use me. Uh, and I became the, uh, the pregame and halftime voice guy. And I, I did, I've been doing that the last five plus years. And uh, that's that's the story behind that, and that's how I got in the. Um, that was my foray into mm -hmm. esports, and you've seen the competitive scene grow, uh, especially with Madden over the last year and a half, two years. Yeah, I mean, like everywhere you go now, there's esports popping up. I mean, they're having like huge events everywhere. Uh, I think even Barclays Center is doing a big one as well. What are your thoughts? They had one like, back in December too. That was yeah, a huge one. Yeah, yeah definitely mm -hmm. a huge one. Um, what are your thoughts on the fact that you obviously you cover like the actual athleticism, cover real sports? Esports, like, is there a big difference you feel like in terms of the way you have to cover each thing and just talk about each player in regards to going into a game? Well, my approach is I like to keep it very simple, man. I treat these guys as like traditional athletes. Yeah. I cover the games and I broadcast like I would a traditional broadcast or covering, you no know, real sports. I mean, it's the virtual, you know, um, you know it's the virtual, you know, addition of a real athletic event. But I treat it the exact same. And I think that's been uh, successful for us, uh, the way I broadcast it, the way I treat the guys, the way I prep, um, you know, interviewing the guys. I treat them just like professionals. Uh, that was one of the deals that NBC Sports liked about me uh, when I do Rocket League. Right. Uh, and then we'll, I'll be doing that again here again in July and August um, at NBC Sports. So that, I think that's the only way to do it. I mean, these guys, are they've earned the platform, and uh, yeah, I treat them as such. Okay. Um, and just the years you've been doing this, you've been doing this obviously for a while. Mm -hmm. Has there been like a moment that like sticks out to you in regards to just covering these games or like a certain player that you'll always remember just from doing this? A certain player? I, there's, I mean, there's not really one player that stands out. I mean, you know what stands out to me are the yeah. names. Okay. You know, I go back to like <laughs> Rocket League and, you know, uh, who's the beautiful community man those guys are so like yeah you know they're professional and they're young um they're optimistic they're positive yeah and you know you got you got names like squishy muffins <laughs> you know and that's, that's that's what sticks out to me you know yeah. and some of those names um but no one that really sticks out as far as you know uh, individuals or anything like that i've seen a lot of great things i've seen these guys with a lot of money uh and, and just proud to be a part of it and uh i enjoy telling their stories Great, and obviously this uh, tournament today with Madden, uh, you're working with Amon Green. Yeah. Now, how did you guys link up, and 
into starting this? That's my guy, man. Me and AG, man. Um, we did an event, um, a Madden event. Uh, our first actual free event was at Microsoft Store, and it was um, last April. Okay. Uh, so this was the 2017 draft, and I uh, met Amon there, and he was the uh, you know he was going to be my analyst that day, my color analyst. Right. And we worked together, and I was like, oh, this chemistry was pretty good on that. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we stayed in contact, and uh, this year I said, dude, I want to use you mm -hmm. the whole year. You're going to be my guy. You're going to be my color guy. So um, he flies into town mm -hmm. every month. You know, hangs out at the crib. Um, and we, you know, we, we get to hang out, and uh, we're like brothers, man. That's my guy, man. He's not going anywhere. Um, he's going to be my guy. He, he's going he's gonna to ride with me from here on out. Definitely, definitely. And now, what can people follow you on Twitter and just to let them know? The you podcast? can follow me at, at Mr. MR and my name, Larry Ridley, L-A-R-R-Y-R-I-D-L-A-Y. -R 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 All one word, Mr. Larry Ridley. Uh, I always hang out on the Twitter sphere. Uh, so, yeah, I like the Twitter. All right, thank I do you a little that. Instagram and also oh, Facebook, oh. but it's all the same. But I mainly, uh, I chirp more on Twitter. I hear you. All right. Thank you very much, man. No problem, man. Right. Thank you, man. No problem.